Get yourself together, girl. doing a drugstore haul. This is an accumulation of things for the past couple months. It's just building up in my room and I need to just do a video on it so I can release it into the wild. Let's jump right into it because it's quite a few products. So let me start with the most recent purchase. I got these two at Walmart with Hector. This is the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless and the Maybelline Fit Me Dewy and Smooth. And I got these because I needed a darker shade for my tan shade. Bruh. Uh... I tried the dewy and smooth and it just seemed like it was too light for my skin. I don't know, I might take this back. Though I didn't have my Smashbox primer, I did put a primer on and by the end of the day, I was like grease ball. Like I wasn't dewy and smooth, I was grease ball. So probably gonna take this one back and exchange this for a different color and see if I like this because so many people rave about this product. So I bought these two mascaras. I bought the L'Oreal Voluminous Original in black is black and i have tried this before but i want to give it another try because if you recognize these two products these are two products that nicole guerrero or that's how you say it right nicole guerrero nicole guerrero girl my bad people say my last name wrong too this is the rimmel lash accelerator this is in extreme black and this one came with a bonus soft coal eye pencil. I'm really looking forward to this to lengthen my top lashes and use this as a bottom lash mascara. Are you waterproof? This has Grow Lash Complex. So I'm excited about this. The lashes look up to 117% longer in 30 days. I use my Lights Camera lashes right now and I do feel like it does grow my lashes so really hopeful for this too because this one is cheaper of course and then this one I remember liking it for volume, but you know, I was looking for lengthening and volume at the same time. And I've just come to accept that sometimes you just need two products to do that for you. These are the NYX Chunky Dunk Hydrating Lippy. And I got these from Bed Bath & Beyond, I believe. This one is Pomegranate Mar Mar Margarita. Pomegranate Margarita. This is Pomegranate Margarita. This is Berry Mojito. And this is Pink Bikini. And you know what? I had high hopes for this. I swatched them already and I wasn't too impressed. So, look at the lack of pigmentation on those. Like, anything purple, I look at it and I'm like, ooh, purple. Is it going to come out purple? Nah. It just comes out as this berry tone. And I guess if you're having a lazy day or you have a day where you don't have on that much makeup, these would really work. But... I mean, they do feel hydrating, so I'm probably going to try to use this on my non-glam days, you know, when I'm going all out with my makeup. But that's those. Kind of disappointed. They look slick, though, so. Also, there's so much hype around the NYX Butter Lipsticks, so I got this one in Hunk, and when I was looking for it, I was having a hard time trying to find it, and also, not that pigmented. I mean... Yeah, I mean it's buttery, but it's a little on the sheer side. So I can't complain because it is a butter lipstick, but people were making it seem like it was like the best thing since sliced bread. I was like, oh my god. It's high. I've been having a little problem looking at Maybelline lipsticks. I don't know why I enjoy the smell of Play-Doh lipsticks, but I picked up these. These were from the Vivid's line, hence the red neon packaging. And this one is Hot Plum and this one is Brazen Berry. Beautiful, right? Love it. Um, I already tried this, so I guess I'll swatch it. This one. Really nice pigmentation on these. Unlike the Rebel Bloom ones, they feel a little bit drier, but still moisturizing. This one is the Brazen Berry. And, ooh. Yes, these two are a lot more pigmented than some of the other ones in the line. It isn't matte, it is like a more creamy finish. But I really like those together. Oh my god, so girly, right? Love it. Anyways, uh, let me take these all out so I don't make a lot too much noise. 
All right, so I was at Walmart and these look familiar, right? Guess what? There are 10 new shades of the creamy mattes from Maybelline. I was in Walmart and I was like, why is there two acrylics for just the mattes? I got closer and I realized there's 10 new shades. They haven't been advertising the fact that there are 10 new shades. I saw a commercial on YouTube today and it said 10 shades of creamy matte colors. And I'm like, there's 20, boo. That's an old commercial. I'm gonna do a separate video on these, so be on the lookout for that. These are the bottoms. The most exciting one is Vibrant Violet, and it looks like this. A little bit more cool tone, a little bit more cool tone, deeper purple. Really like this. I finally committed to buying something from Milani because I remember somebody was talking about how amazing like the eyeliners were. They sell it at CVS, I believe, um, is the only place that I could find them. Let me fix my hair. Like, accessible drugstore-wise, I only see them at CVS. Just took so long just for me to buy them because they're a little bit on the pricier side of drugstore. Sometimes it can look cheap. I like the products. That's probably why the price point is slightly higher. I showed this in my last tutorial. This is the Milani Powder Blush in Coral Cove. It has that great rose embossed on it. And, oh my god, I loved it. I've used this. Becoming one of my favorites. So, probably gonna be in my next favorites video. This one is so, like, YouTube hyped. This is Luminoso Baked Powder Blush. And this one is a little pricey for the size. Um, I remember it being around $9 or something. I could be wrong. But I did get some cash back for buying Milani products at the time. It was like CVS points. It wasn't my cash back. I take that back. So I did buy another pack of travel wipes. When I went to Houston, I didn't want to bring the big pack with me. And I was like, oh, I'll just buy another travel pack. My face was on fire. Lifesaver. Love these. Makes you feel nice and clean. I got these Herbal Essences shampoo and conditioner and this is the blowout smooth and i'm really looking forward to this i don't really take care of my hair i'm gonna tell you that straight up i don't really take care of my hair very much i do <laughs> put drugstore stuff in my hair i probably shouldn't when i'm looking for shampoo and conditioner i'm like oh let me go to walmart let me go let me grab this this is the only thing that grabs my eye plus packaging is pink can't beat it and i hope i enjoy it i've been using the long-term relationship one just a shampoo and you know what my hair isn't like completely like oh my god my hair but I've noticed that I reduce my split ends a lot so that's good these came from Rite Aid and that's a drugstore right so I got the nail polishes from the Julie G line these are the candy shop colors and what this is they're supposed to have like a jelly bean finish like somewhere in between a matte and a shiny one it's not completely matte like mine are right now i haven't tried this yet i don't know why they're supposed to be inspired by candy would you eat this would you eat this would you eat this this is licorice twist pixie stick and sweet tooth and i haven't tried her products yet so i'll get back to you on these yeah moving on to sally's stuff it's accessible it's cheap if you have a sally's card you can save a couple bucks so a couple colors that i picked up I have another one. Oh my god, let me go get it. Ah, back. All right, so I got these colors. Let me start with the China Glaze colors. There's always great deals on China Glaze at Sally's. You always want to find them buy one, get one free, or buy two, get one free, whatever. I got Flip Flop Fantasy and Under the Boardwalk. I wore this on my trip to Houston. Love it as a summer color. Great on the toes. And this one I haven't tried yet because I just feel like I already have something like this, but it dried out. But this one, oh, great for summer too. I love it. Look how cute they look together. This would be great like as a nail design, like striped or something. Really cute. Uh, this came from a collection. I'm going to be honest with you. I don't remember the name of it. And I didn't want to look it up in my phone because I take so many pictures and it's like deep, deep in there. So it was some kind of like nude wedding collection or like something or other so this one is called put it in neutral and petal soft this is a nude cool toned taupey nude color it's so sheer i'm so mad I, have, I can put three coats on i can still see yeah i can still see my like underneath and then this one it was just really pretty it's just flowers and glitter really excited about that but 
I don't ever know when I'm gonna actually wear that. The other two things I bought, I bought a China Glaze Strong Adhesion Base Coat. Base coats are one of those things like, eh, is it making a difference? But base coats, they do fill in your lines. They do fill in the ridges in your nails and also just makes for a smoother application for whatever's on top on recommendation of the girl in there. American Classics Jealous Advanced Nail Gel Coat. And what this is, is you're supposed to put it underneath or on top of your nails to make it look like gel. And I have it on my nails today. I'm trying it out. As far as just the gel on top, it's alright. Like, it still chips. But this particular one is like gel color, gel color, gel color, gel color. Well, not that many times. And then a matte coat on top. So, really looking forward to that. Only thing about this though is it bubbles. So you should kind of just watch your product there. The last thing I have for this haul is this, how do you pronounce this? Orly, 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 Orly. Nail Lacquer Thinner. Solvent restores life to thicken nail lacquer. This stuff is okay. If you have a product that's been sitting there for a little while and it got a little thick, then you can pop this in, application is smoother. But on older products, don't try. Another thing too, once you put it in and then you try to use it again after you already put it in and like another time, like I put it in my sesh feet and then like it worked for that one time and then I had to put it in again. So gonna hold on to it, probably repurchase it again, but that's all right. <sighs> oh, that was quick. That was it for my drugstore haul. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you check out my other videos and like the video if you liked it subscribe if you haven't it will make my day if you want to follow my social media it's all down below at makeup animal for everything send me a snap double tap like my facebook do whatever you want if you like this face you should follow me on social media that's it for now until next time guys keep it cute bye that's not what i'm supposed to talk about all right stop following everywhere Ah, uh, oh god. Ah, uh, little Asian hands. Ow. Oh, uh, stop attacking me. Oh, uh, okay. So unprepared today. I could not.